not going skiing today because it's very cold, even though it snowed. And there's lots of powder. Tired. I'm very tired. I'm not going snowboarding. I'm going home to unbox some fire. Fire and ice. Motherfucking Game of Thrones. came all the way down just to get these shoes. Well, that's not the only reason. There's just, yeah, there's a lot of reasons. This morning was super cold. There was no way I was going snowboarding. It was just like blizzard conditions on top of the mountain from the looks of it from the bottom of the mountain. But I am gonna head, I don't know, man. I think I'm gonna head towards Vale, maybe Beaver Creek tomorrow. I'm not really sure yet what's gonna happen. I'm following some leads. Um, I did get a bunch of shit in the mail and I'm super hyped about it. Let's start opening it. Oh, these are those pants from Adidas. These are the United Arrows pants. These shits were expensive. Um, shout out to my plug for getting me that little assistance on this pair for the not so expensive. Interesting material for sure. Whoa, I don't know about this little pink divot on the back, it's a little strange. Nice pant, it's a definitely like a different material. It's weird, I don't know. I have to, uh, this is weird too. I'll have to try them on and see, I don't know. Omar, I'm unboxing, what do you want? I don't have a knife though. Go get me a knife, go get me a knife. Oh wait, there's a knife right here. A white box, a little white box, you want it? Get it, get it. Try, 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 try. Okay, uh, United Arrows, the Suns. CS2. Wow! Nice. That's like the thing on the front of the pant. What did you say? These are cool. Nice little knit there. Nice, nice. So we'll try these on. So that's the CS2. Very rating champ like prime knit. Not quite as soft. These are cool though. I like these. I don't quite understand the graphic on the inside. It's like a dude's eyes or something. Kind of strange, but whatever. I, mean, I know the last one was like a ninja theme, but I can't really tell what that whole theme is about. So we'll check those out later. Uh, this box. This box, shout out again. I have so many good people in the world that help me, but shout out to the homie Y3 for hooking these up. There's a few Y3s that dropped. Um, I'm interested in a lot of them. There's a lot of shit coming from Y3 this year. It's hard to know which ones I really want because Y3 shit is so expensive. So uh, even with a little help on it, it's still pricey for a retail. So we'll see. Maybe some shit will go on sale. I don't really know, but it's always helpful. I got the Y3 look look. Ooh, those are nice. Those are not booze, but they're cool. These. Oh, another box. <laughs> These are the Y3s. I'm not gonna say. It. I'm not gonna psycho, 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 psycho. The Y3 psycho. I don't know. Well, these spoke to me the most because they're PK, but I do think they have a mesh inline. Still, so in Y3 fashion, extra laces. These are black and white laces, same as they come with spags. And here's the shoe. Oh, this thing's kind of dope. Oh shit. So it has like a little inline there. These are fucking tight. Huh, that's cool. This is honestly like, Omar. That's an interesting knit. Like that knit on top is PK. And then this underneath, it's like a sock around a sock. It creates these little layers. It's cool. It's interesting, it's a different one. The Y3, nice. Yeah, I'm hype on these. I can't wait to try these out. These 13s actually. 12 and a half. 12 and a half is the biggest. So, um, tight. So we'll check those out soon. Hype, 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 hype. Actually, I gotta try this shit on right now. I can't even wait. I mean, I feel like I gotta unlace it. It's just like, oh, these are fucking dope. Oh yeah. Woohoo! 
Yeah, these are fire. They're fire. A little narrow in the toe, but it's just it's not bad. Let's just see. Hell yeah. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah, I love shoes. Alright, Y3. Shout out to Y3. Um, shout out to my Y3 guys. You know why in California. Appreciate you guys getting me these. Super, super hype on it. Like, super hype. Well, one of these pairs don't come out until tomorrow. I think the rest of them already come out. Um, first off, there's a gift from... A gift from A-Life, which I am super, super hyped about. Because, as everyone knows, your boy, we got the felt box, just like the last one. We have the uh, felt white bear. A-Life bear. And then the companion. So you already know, these are going on the shelf. People keep asking me why I didn't get these. I was just waiting because I knew they were going to be all over. So, I waited. Nice, I do like this new cage. This is nice. It's a nice improvement. It looks a little more flexy. Nice. It's a good shoe. I like it. Um, yeah, I mean, it's another triple black. Like, a lot of people are always like, oh, oh another Adidas put out a bunch of triple blacks. Like, yes, they did, and they will continue to, because triple black shoes, or just all black shoes, are popular. And some of you are ridiculous and have, like, short attention spans, because we didn't get black boost. It was, like, a year ago. So we've only been, it's only been happening for, like, a year. So, just chill you know like jeez and you know you're supposed to wear your shoes so generally your triple black ultra boost from last year you probably wouldn't still be wearing it this year unless you have a bunch of shoes but i think maybe in an effort to turn a profit um adidas has decided to produce more than one shoe it's crazy triple black 4.0 we'll look at these i like these we'll compare them to the 3.0s that i have and whatever other triple blacks there are we still have to compare the Chinese New Year's. We'll get to that this week as well. What else we got here? We have the uh, Ultra Boost LTD 5th Anniversary. This shoe's funny. I really like the shoe. I think it's great. Well, I haven't looked at it yet, but I like, I like the shoe. I do think it's funny that it's 220. It's like, I don't know if there's really gonna be any rhyme or reason for that. I feel like there's not gonna be. There's no special box, which you think. Fifth anniversary special box would be just, you know, just come on guys. Like, is it gonna kill you to just maybe print a black box with some yellow font on it and make me feel like you give a shit for that extra 40 bucks? Anyway, um, the Ultra Boost fifth anniversary. Nice, we're back to the regular cage on this one, but it's got the two tone, which you don't see too often. And there's all colors from the original Pure Boost colorway. The yellow is the Yellow is the nod. It's like 3M the fuck out. Like the whole shoe is super 3M. So that's really the draw for me is the 3M with yellow. Really subtle stuff. Like you really have to love Ultra Boost, I think, to get it or be a collector to just have the fifth anniversary. But it's a must cop. But the gray this isn't something we've been getting lately. So this is cool to me. But I know not everybody is going to give a shit. The shoe that comes out tomorrow the crazy BYW Boost You Wear level. Oh, crazy. Whoa, that's crazy too. One more, stop. These are crazy. These are crazy. Huh, I guess I need to put them on. No. Whoa. Oh, these are crazy. Like, straight up. These are fucking sick, though. I don't think it's a basketball shoe though, I'm not gonna lie. Dude, these are sick. I got shit all over my shirt in there, but I don't really know how they look on my feet. But they feel good. Oh, I need to put the other one on. Yo, the boost is nuts. Like, that's fucking crazy. I mean, people are gonna not like parts of that shoe for sure. It's wild. Dude, yeah, I fuck with it. <laughs> There's so much boost, dog. Tight. Crazy. Crazy. I'm gonna go walk around for a little bit. 
and then I'll be back. It's been a day, so I'm back. I uh, went to go test out my shoes and do other stuff. I've really got to get a haircut. I don't know what the fuck. Shoes today, a lot of shoes came in. I'm super hype on all the shoes that I got, but I'm not nearly as hype about those shoes. They're all great shoes. I haven't worn really any of them yet, but I'm not nearly as hype as I am about these BYWs. And I did not expect to be this hype. I've been hearing a lot of stuff about BYW friends associates, peers. And there's just been a lot of talks about everything that's coming, uh, the plans for the future, you know. Obviously, Nike has unveiled um, a smorgasbord of things for the world to consume. Opinion, as everyone knows. We don't need to go through it, but uh, they're playing a strong hand right now, probably the strongest hand they could ever play, which, I don't know, man. Are you a gambling man? New shoe from Adidas. I'm super excited about BYW, especially after trying them on, but this is the box, Adidas Originals box, size 13, BYW level one. Uh, it stands for Boost You Wear, in case you did not know. And if you don't know, Boost You Wear is basically the resurgence, reimagination of Feet You Wear, which Feet You Wear was a technology that was licensed to Adidas in the 90s, 96. Basically is off the concept of natural foot movement. So as you know, like basketball shoes in the 90s, such as Jordans. See, I don't bring this shit up. Like this is just like part of, it's just, it's unavoidable. Like Jordans or any other basketball shoe or even Adidas shoes prior to that, uh, squared off soles, basically. Everything was like squared off. The idea, which this man's name Frampton Ellis, this idea that he came up with was that rounding off the edges of the shoes and making them larger would create more stability, especially with lateral movements, and just be a better performance for the athlete. Basically what started it all as far as mapping out shoes, it's where Nike Free Run came from. It, 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 Feature wear was was the beginning of all of that. It's a very, very minimal shoe. It was a departure from like cosmetic gimmicks. It was very, fu very functional. It was supposed to be an extension of the player's foot. You weren't, you know, it was supposed to move with your foot, etc. It's super popular because Kobe Bryant, at the same time, signed with Adidas, his first basketball contract. Kobe's first shoe, the KB8, included this technology, which this shoe is also, why don't I have the shoe in my fucking hand? Sorry, it's still on my feet. They're so comfortable. This shit is still on my feet. Um, this is what the shoe looks like. This is the shoe. Da, 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 da. This is a high top basketball style shoe. It is not a performance basketball shoe. It's not. This is a lifestyle shoe. Don't think that you're gonna wanna play ball in these. They do not have a lot of support. Um, I think that's why it's called level one because there are other versions coming. There's a pro version that's supposed to come out. Um, and then I've heard just rumors of just all kinds of different BYW stuff coming. But anyway, um, Kobe Bryant, KB8, hugely popular shoe. People love the KB8. People love Feature Wear. And Feature Wear was featured in a lot of different other shoes, but KB8 is kind of, Kobe Bryant and the KB8 is kind of, I think, what made it. There are a lot of really cool commercials. In those commercials, there was this little guy, this little like foot figure. And one of the coolest things about this shoe is that he returns the toe focus bitch on the toe of the shoe our little homie is back and then basically that that feature you wear is where you get this bulbous sole that you see uh, and this is the same exact sole that you see on the easy 500 except the easy 500 as far as I know is not boost if it is boost I'd probably be kicking myself but I do not think that it is all of the Kobe legacy things happen Kobe leaves goes to Nike and then the reason that you have the word crazy in the shoe or that the crazy even started was once Kobe left and all that feet you wear technology the feet you wear licensing ended I think that was in like 2001 once that licensing ended and it you know it went quiet for a long time until boost you wear but they re-released the KB8 but called it the crazy egg because Kobe no longer was with Adidas so that's where the word crazy comes from in the naming of the shoe obviously the feet you wear is now the boost you wear they kind of kept the crazy eight uh, vibe with the lacing system it's a lot like the crazy eight the upper is very similar except for it's a completely thin down super minimal like crazy crazy upper like this upper is amazing it's prime knit with little suede panels um there's definitely like some mesh neoprene panels in there as well but the prime knit on it is super nice there is a mesh inline into the shoe there's a liner on the inside but it's not it's not stuffy this shoe is pretty breathable yeah different kinds different knits all throughout different panels different kinds of panels with directions none of these panels are stitched together it's a stitchless paneling system very very minimal and kind of what makes it is this piping that shows movement which i really really like i know that some people will say this looks sort of like a jordan silhouette i just don't agree like the way they minimize this shoe down from a bulky basket 
basketball shoe, used like PK and just other materials and simplified it, is fucking amazing. Like, and the comfort of it is ridiculous. Like the upper on this shoe, dude, I can't, I, yeah, I'm, I, I honestly cannot even describe. Like, I am so surprised by this shoe. So, so surprised. Regular thin black rope laces. Tongue is also suede. There's no insole. It does say crazy on the inside. And then, of course, what you really have is these three pod boost modulars. And this shit right here is everything. Basically, you have this plate that connects these three boost, pod, boost pods, and then you're, this sock that basically sits into the boost pod. Because this is so huge, there's such a massive amount of boost. Going back to that feature wear technology, and it's so rounded, like you're just literally like standing, I don't even know, I don't even know what to say. You're like standing in pods of boost, but it's like in three sections of your feet. Your foot is like suspended in a boost hammock. Shit is, it's fucking crazy. Like it's super crazy. Like, and that's why it's called the crate. Like it's crazy. I don't know how else I keep saying that, but I, it's, it's, it's really nuts. Like this shoe is really awesome. I really want more and more and more of these. And this is just the lifestyle one. So who knows? Like, I mean, obviously I don't really ball. Yes, I still go to the gym sometimes or just not a lot because I've been snowboarding, but uh, like, these are crazy. So, I mean, that pod system really changed everything and each piece of boost being independent. I mean, it's just really a completely different fit. It's not going to be like an ultra boost in any way. I don't necessarily feel a springy responsiveness as much as I feel just like a, an overall distribute, like a distribution. It, your, your foot and your weight just feels distributed among the boost better. Like it really feels as if it's moving with your foot and that's because all of these pieces can move independently as you walk. It's really an amazing shoe. I honestly can't say enough about it. I'm super, super impressed. Uh, but yeah, all PK, PK and mesh channels on the upper. We've got the piping. Uh, but these are super, super comfortable for me. I got a size 13. It feels perfect. I like, I don't think I would half size down. Like this isn't necessarily like the most stretchy material. It moves with your foot and it's great, but it's it's nothing like an any. It, it's a it's a more basketball style shoe, but it does not feel like any kind of basketball shoe I've ever put on. This is the most comfortable high top shoe that I've ever put on my feet. Hands down, there's no comparison. You can fucking cement that into the wall. It's the best. Like it's ridiculous so far. Who knows what the pro is gonna be like? They got the pro and the low collabs. BYW is gonna fuck shit up, dog. I'm telling you. Boost. Boost, boost, boost. But these drop. I know Packers is dropping them at midnight tonight, so you can get them at Packers. Not a lot of stores got them on this initial release, I don't believe. That's the 27th, which is tomorrow. They actually release on February 15th globally. Good luck. I don't know how hype these are going to be. I know I'm super fucking hype on these after putting them on. Yeah, like, dude, it's like, it's, it's ill. Like, I am, I am super hyped. This makes me look, look, this is making me really look forward to that Y3. Dude. I cannot wait to hear. It. Oh, never mind. Oh, you're gonna be retra. Oh. What is today? Is today Friday? Today is Friday. Okay, so I won't see you guys tomorrow. I don't. Um, we'll return Monday probably. I got some searching to do this weekend. Yeah, there's no drop on Sunday, but we will have the swoosh pack hoodies and long tees coming next week. I don't think it's gonna be on Sunday. It's probably midweek or something, but it's coming. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'm out. Peace. BYW. Game changer. 170 retail, by the way. All right.